feels a little bit soft. Welcome to another episode of Supercar Diaries. Today, we're gonna to be talking about this magnificent car over here, the McLaren Senna. This car is fitted with a four liter twin turbocharged V8 engine. It's the most powerful engine McLaren has ever fitted to any of their road cars. It produces 800 horsepower and 800 Newton meters of torque, but not this one. This is the Novitec version, and it's been fitted with a Stage 2 performance package. It now has 902 horsepower, 888 newton meters of torque. Less than 2.8 seconds to 100. A top speed of well north of 340 kilometers per hour. This thing is a track machine, and you can actually drive it on the road. It's basically been built around air. The McLaren says that there's hardly a single line of this car that you can follow from the front to the back without it crossing some sort of a functional aerodynamical cavity or something of some sort. It's got cavities and holes all over the place. You could push bananas through here. These components over here, it's an active aerodynamical system. This is to take all the air that gets forced in here through these radiators over here through this carbon part to the rest of the car and at the back it deals with the air like you have never seen in your life. These doors weigh nine kilograms each. Only the seats in front, well it's not like they have any at the back, eight kilograms each. Everything in this cabin over here, if you would weigh that, it's less than 60 kilograms. They even used a lightweight paint. Now in certain models, they even have the option of lightweight magnets to hold your number plates. And then of course, you can also take a very lightweight battery for the car. And it all paid off. This car weighs only 1,198 kilograms. That's a quarter of a ton lighter than the McLaren P1. Now in race mode, the Senna's hydraulic suspension lowers the car and that increases the aerodynamical downforce over the car and gives you more stability. At higher speeds, the suspension actually stiffens. If it wouldn't, then the aerodynamical pressure on this car would be so immense that it would actually cause the car to bonk out on the road. But there's more. This wing, this carbon fiber structure is so rigid that it can handle more than a hundred times the pressure of its own weight. Altogether, the downforce through all the aerodynamical components is 800 kilograms. That's the weight of a small car. Now at 200 kilometers per hour, the McLaren Senna covers the length of a football field in 1.8 seconds. Hit the brakes full force and it'll stop from 200 to zero in exactly the same distance. Now you can have these MC3 center locking rims for the Senna in 72 different colors and in a brushed or polished surface. Now you have to love the fact that McLaren as a brand is really, really bold. They said about the Senna that it's extremely driver focused. Well, but then they went ahead and continued by saying, it's also unashamedly 
antisocial. Imagine rocking up at the bakery in there. You can see the exhaust tips of that race performance exhaust system. Boy, is that brutally loud. <laughs> We've included the Race GTR high performance exhaust system with our Stage 2 package. It's made of an ultra light material called Incanal that they use in F1 racing and it has the same exhaust tips as the GTR. haven't yet done it subscribe to our channel hit that little notification bell so you get alerted every time we upload a new film looking forward to seeing you guys next time take care ciao